thought I'd show some self-driving on some back roads that don't have uh, lane markings to show you how self-driving performs without that guidance of um, lane dividers and borders. There's a person and a dog in the road right in front of me. Um, it's identified them here. self-driving to me is um, how it performs outside of those conditions like highway driving where everything's clearly marked. A couple more people in the road up here. Just make sure it's going to go around them. It's identified them there. You can see the two walking. So far so good. But on highway driving it's pretty easy cut and dry. A lot of other cars can perform similarly um, with driver assist features on highways. But this is the amazing stuff where the car is just figuring it out without those markings. The stop sign here. I thought it was going to miss it, but it didn't. say it's doing a pretty good job so far. Coming up to another stop sign and a turn up here. This one, it doesn't really have good visibility to the side here, but you can see that line it's going to move up to. Check. All good. Repeating myself, but just calling out there's no lean markings, right? So it's just figuring out what to do on its own. That's going to change now. There's going to start being some lane markings, and that's a little bit um, easier. So I'll probably end this video here. But if you want to see more, please check out my channel, subscribe. There's lots of other um, videos of good and bad things of self driving. Um, I definitely share the positive and the negative, so you can see all of that on my channel. Um, but yeah, 